get ready for Mikey Sun TV. Four, three, two, one, zero. Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Today we are in the Everyday Kitchen. I am ready for some Everyday Kitchen, guys. I hope you are too. I hope you enjoy my martial arts that I don't know. Anyway, okay, what does that have to do with the Everyday Kitchen? Absolutely nothing, and I'm okay with that. Okay, let's get on board. I'm sure you know by the title and the description what we're doing today. This is one of my Christmas gifts that my oldest son got me. Uh, something that looks interesting to me and that you see a lot of people using nowadays. So, what is it? Well, if you didn't guess already, let me show you. It is the Faba Daba Haba Farber, Farber, Farber Ware. Yeah, Farber Ware. Oil less fryer. You can use oil, but it's oil less, right? It looks pretty nice. Now, this is not an unboxing. I thought it was going to be an unboxing and. A demo but it's not my wife unboxed it a couple days ago it's been sitting out we haven't used it though let me throw that over there it does come with a cookbook all kinds of different stuff in there and you see the picture that might give it away what I'm gonna do and the instructions we don't really need instructions do we I don't know it looks pretty simple to me so let's take a look at it, shall we? All right. So here it is. We have the temperature. We have the time limit. We have just some simple stuff here on the side. Uh, here's the basket. The basket. Pulls out, you slide this forward to unlock, you go like so, and that raises up out of there, and that's your basket. And you put your little bit of oil in there if you want. I don't think you have to. And then that slides back over to keep you from accidentally hitting that. Slides in, boom, blah blah blah. You get the picture, right? All right. Let's fill that with some fries and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, to preheat, I didn't read the instructions, really. Uh, yada, yada, yada. I don't really see preheat instructions except for put it on 360. Where's the camera? Hi. Except putting it on 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, add the potatoes to the basket and cook for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, remove the basket and shake. Cook for another 10 to 15 minutes. We'll add the fries in a minute. That's already pretty warm. I'm just making a little for me. Alright, 
so it's going it's moving right along steady uh, yeah I'm just testing it out I went ahead and put the temperature up on 400 uh, I put the time on about oh probably about 12 minutes and we'll see what happens I'm gonna take them out in just a few minutes like I said and kind of shake the basket around and stick it back in and see what happens so you know I don't know how usable these things are uh, I'm sure there's a lot of cool uses for them and looking in the cookbook there is a lot of stuff to do with it I mean like everything you know all kinds of stuff that you can do with it I, you're not gonna be able to read it but basically from french fries to stuffed mushrooms to fish fillets and everything in between uh, so we'll see what it does all right guys well it's been a few minutes I'm impatient so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the basket out shake them around a bit and put it back in I'm scared They look almost done. Good grief. Dang. Hmm. Now, I think this might be a better option, even though the oven is super quick and easy, and I'm, you know, I've been using the oven my whole life. I believe this might be easier maybe just for like messing around with you know my own dinner a little single serving of french fries without having to kick on the oven and and all that like especially during spring and summer so and I do like to eat french fries and tater tots and I and you can do onion rings and whatever so hmm I think it might be interesting for that and like I said, it's showing you can do like cakes or chicken and T-bone steaks and fish and just all kind of stuff in here. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I bet you could wrap stuff up in aluminum foil even and put in there. I might be wrong, but I mean, it's not a microwave. So I bet you could wrap stuff up in aluminum foil even. And uh, uh cook some stuff in there so I'm going to experiment and check things out and we'll see alright let's get these french fries done I like Zoic Scoob it looks like it's done yeah it looks like it's done <laughs> okay There's that oil if you needed it. Good job, Mike. Good job. All right. Well, they are done. I like my fries nice and crisp. So that's perfectly good with me. I do my fries nice and done. 
I love that. Well, that was quick and easy, guys. That's way faster than the oven. Now, I didn't do a big order of fries. First, did a little personal size. But that was quick and easy. Hmm. Pretty cool. Hmm. All right. Well, guys, there's a little taste test of the first thing that I've had out of a fryer. Uh, airless fryer whatever oilless fryer now it's called oilless you don't have to use oil but some things I think they recommend I don't know. Well, I'm gonna eat these before they get cold it's definitely Worth the purchase so far, and I appreciate the gift from my oldest son, Jared. I hope that I get a lot of use out of it. Hey, try it out for yourself, guys. Hope you like the channel. Hope you find something of interest. Check out the playlist. Check out uh, also just the regular video section, because not everything's in a playlist. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Get my channel out there to the world. I think I do decent content. Uh, decent wholesome guy so anyway get up get out get rad do it to it even in the everyday kitchen eating an everyday food but using a not so everyday method all right we'll see y'all later I'm gonna go eat these pretty good fries Get up, get out, get mad, and do it, do it!